How is everybody doing today? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We've got a very, very special review today. One I couldn't be more excited to try. There's been a lot of hype over this bottle already from um, people on the Whiskey Tube community, and I, I couldn't be more excited to try this. I was fortunate enough to have a sample of this sent to me from Bill Straub himself, the master blender over at Four Gate Whiskey Company. Incredible. Um, this was my dream starting into into doing whiskey reviews was to ever get a sample of good whiskey sent to me and mission accomplished. Like, thank you, Bill, so much. I really appreciate it. We're going to be talking about Split Stave by Kelvin. Now this, again, as mentioned, is release number four out of Four Gate Whiskey Company. And this is a very, very interesting whiskey with a really cool way of finishing. So let me read this. This was actually sent with the sample. I want to make sure I get it right. So I'm going to actually read this. Um, the split stave by Calvin, the staves in these casts alternate between a medium toast, so a level two toast and a level four char. It gives a warm creme brulee flavor interlaced with smoky, earthy, charred oak. Um, and they go into a little bit more detail on the website here about how, you know, the age of the whiskey, the finishing process a little bit more, and I'll get into that too. But this is the only whiskey on the market that I know of that does something like this, where they use split staves in a single barrel. Um, it's a limited amount that were put out, you know, to the public, only 2,700 bottles. That's the case with four gates still, you know, they're still trying to get their stocks up, but the bottles that they do put out, the ones I have had have been excellent. That's not just me talking and saying that like they are, they're good stuff, very good stuff. So let's go into the details a little bit about the, um, the actual whiskey in the barrels. So it is a blend of two different aged, uh, whiskey, five and a half year with a mash bill of 78% corn. 10% rye and 12% 12, uh, 12 barley. And then there's a 12 year old mash bill that's 74% corn, 18% rye, 8% barley, non chill filtered, 115.6 proof. As mentioned, only about 2,700 bottles put to market. So that blend of the five and a half year and the 12 year whiskey was put into the split stave barrels for about five months. So it rested in there, was able to take on the flavors of the level two, level four char. So we're gonna see if that changes the flavor of this whiskey, makes it more complex, adds different layers. I'm really curious about that. MSRP on this is $175, so not a cheap whiskey, of course. But, you know, four gate releases in the past can be put up there with some of the whiskey of the years that I've tried. You know, that's how good they are. So I am really, really curious to try this. I had this sample poured already um, for about 15, 20 minutes. I wanted to make sure it had time to open up, being higher proof. So I'm gonna um, go into color here first and we'll get right into the notes. Nice dark color. You know, the um, up to 12 year whiskey in this, it's, it's not gonna be light, you know? And the finishing for five months in those other barrels, I think it really is gonna add a nice, it added a nice darkness. Medium to dark caramel color, I would say for sure. Let's go right into the nose on this. Oh, yeah, this is like a chocolate dusted marshmallow. Mmm. Very nice. I mean, you get that, you get, you get the toasted oak for sure coming through as well. You know, I've described um, Nestle's chocolate, like dusted Nestle's chocolate powder mix many times in the past. But this reminds me more of, you've seen that Hershey's, I don't even know what it's called, but like baking cocoa or baking powder, something like that, where it's like the Hershey, it's like a Hershey's brand in a little weird shaped jar. You mix it in with like your brownies or something. It's like dark chocolate, a little bit more bitter chocolate powder. That's what this is reminding me of, you know? Toasted marshmallow is strong though. All the very nice baking spices come through. I mean, classic vanilla caramel, burnt caramel, burnt brown sugar. I think that's part of that toasted marshmallow note I'm describing. Really nice. No alcohol burn at all. Um, smells very robust. On nose, I would guess it's around 100 proof, honestly. So this this already smells much smoother than the proof would um, that you think it would. Mm. Very inviting nose. Let's give it a taste here. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. There's the proof. There is the proof. 
Yeah. Wow. Reminiscent of some of the um, other toasted barrel, barrel finished whiskeys I've had in the past. I mean, barrel finished, if you will, like the 1910 Woodford Double Oak, where it's got that nice vanilla ice cream toasted oak. Toasted oak comes through so much for me, and it's, it's delicious. It's really a creme brulee. Like they get out that little flame gun and they start flaming the top of the, the sugars to get it all brown and caramelized. Like that's what's coming through. Excellent mouth coating. Um, still like excellent mouth on the back of the palate. Mm. I don't want to call it like a grassy note, but it's giving me kind of more, a little bit more of like an earthiness, I guess. I don't know how I describe that. It's not like earthiness like scotch, you know, like some scotch whiskeys you've had, but it's just a little more, I think that's more maybe just that, that burnt wood, that barrel charred wood that's coming through for me. But the the, the notes of like the, the creme brulee notes, that those dark cocoa chocolate notes I described, really, really good. Let me do one more sip just because I want to. It's just a really good whiskey. I wish this was more available for more people to try. Everything about it is just very well-rounded. Excellently, I mean, ma masterfully blended. It really is. Uh, I w as I said, I wish there were more than 2,700 bottles available. MSRP is going to be rough, of course, at 180. But Fourgate is still new, you know, in the especially in the grand scheme of things. Putting out good products. I mean, really good products. You know, the, um, the gin cast finish, the Outer Loop Orbit, wasn't my favorite expression from them. I think just because the gin, to me, was a little much. But I'll tell you what, that doesn't take away from this whiskey or some of the other ones they put out in the past. They're doing excellent stuff. This bottle specifically, if you can pick it up at 170 like at retail, I would. I think it's that good. Um, and I'm not bullshitting you. Know, like, this is, I know I was sent this sample and I know I'm reviewing it, but I, I really, really like it. You know, um, eventually they're going to have more whiskey. They're going to be putting out a lot more. I, I'm looking forward to it. You know, Ford Gate is one of those companies I put up there with, like New Riff, where in Boone County, where they're starting to really make a name for themselves in whiskey. You know, it's happening. It's really happening, and they're storming through. Um, good, good stuff. This is like higher end, bougie, boutique whiskey to me. You know, like it is. It's it's good. Some of their expressions can push towards that BTAC level, you know. I wouldn't say it's there yet, but I think um, the flavor profile's there. What he's trying to do blending is just fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to everything that comes out in the future, and I think it's going to be an extremely successful company. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out and watching this episode today. Uh, every once in a while I do get sent samples from distilleries, and I love to review them. It's always whiskey I've never tried, you know, and I'll never get the opportunity to try being here in Michigan. Getting an opportunity to try this, um, I mean, I would love to find a bottle of this. I'd love to meet Bill someday too, take a trip down to Fourgate and try some stuff that they're doing, check out the, the place. I hope I can do that someday. Um, but I appreciate y'all hanging out watching the review. I want to hear if you guys have ever tried Fourgate whiskey before. If you have, which expression did you have and what did you think? You know, as I mentioned, of course, price tag is going to be the biggest barrier for all of us and availability. But I know they are expanding their footprint out of just Kentucky in the very you know, near future. So I am glad to hear that. I will see you all very soon. Uh, keep an eye out very soon for another blind tasting coming up. It's going to be a fun one. I'll see you all very soon. Stay insane, everyone. Mm -hmm.